Hello, today I would like to show you battery charger of our choose. This is what we are using for recharging a lot of different batteries that we are currently using. The model number is uh, PP8498-U and the name is a soldier portable charger and it is a multi-port universal battery charger that's the full name why this is a universal battery charger let me show you this is a battery adapter and you can fit this battery adapter into that tray i'm going to show you that in second and the idea is that you purchase adapter for the batteries that you are actually using and there is also ability this adapter as you can see have uh, pins and form factor for the battery that you are going to recharge and those pins are routed to the charger also with uh, control pins that will tell the battery charger what kind of battery that you have plugged in, what kind of voltage and other things. And the idea is that if there will be battery that was not available when this charger was manufactured, here, if you take a look, there is a software upgrade port under that flap. And the service technician is capable of upgrading firmware and making this battery charger recharge something that is not available currently that does not exist maybe they will change the chemistry maybe we are going to get a lithium ferrite battery and you update the firmware you change the form factor you grab only the base plate adapter and the battery charger is going to be still exactly the same this is a currently fielded unit you can buy them brand new or you can get a used one and mostly we are using them with our military batteries for radios and here you can see i've got one of those batteries and this is the empty one we've got a state of charge indicator so we are going to put those two batteries to to the charger this battery charger let me here you can see the user manual let let me show you and i'm going to tell you a couple of things about this unit so let's take a look and here is a list of all adapters that you can that you can use for this and the most interesting part and i'm going to show you that in second but let's take a look at the user interface let me hide that because we are not going to use it and here you can see I'm recharging the nickel metal hybrid battery and let me turn it off this charger is capable of being recharged from a DC voltage you can recharge it from a car here you can see the input voltage we actually have got a military gas generator that is producing a DC voltage no AC only DC for the radio equipment and you can plug it here and this is the side for the DC voltage we've got the circuit breaker and the on off switch here is a AC part we've got a standard computer type plug and as you can see it accepts a wide voltage range so we could use it uh, worldwide we also got a circuit breaker and our main power switch when I 
got this unit I was trained to always unplug it by this switch and only there change the battery but to be honest I was never doing that I was always swapping the battery when the device was working and I never got any problem but I was trained to do this only at off so I'm telling you to follow that instruction what it how it looks like so when we power it on we are going to hear the fan and it's going to do a self test and this is how it looks like where we do not have anything connected you can sometimes hear the relay clickings and you can see that the battery bays are blinking and the charger is like looking for the battery that is that is going to be connected this battery as you can see have a four bay and for most tray you are going to see two batteries per bay and this is a bay battery a and battery b and if you take a look here you can see we've got a marking for corresponding battery and this is common through almost all trays except for the civilian one that is accepting the double a batteries and it can hold more than two batteries but for most you are going to get uh, only two batteries per bay if you count that you've got four bays per 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 two battery you've got the ability to recharge a batteries but this charger does not charging eight batteries at the same time it recharge only two batteries at once and then it's going to jump to the other bay and recharge other two batteries for those type of batteries it take around two hour from a completely empty to full so if you left this battery overnight battery charger overnight you are going to get a top charge on all of those batteries but if you are looking for a very quick recharging eight batteries then eight 16 batteries then that's not going to happen it's going to be recharging only two at once so two batteries around two hours what's also interesting i was trained that if you are using the nickel metal hydride batteries then if you put them so now it's trying to detect then it's go to the rapid charging now it's like trying to detect the battery it's sending the the current and looking what's going to happen does the battery is accepting charge sometimes you are going to get a fault if the battery is drained to the zero absolutely bottom null and it does not detect in that quick blinking time then I just turn it off and turn it on and after doing this like two times most of the nickel metal hydride batteries just start to accepting current so do not throw them away just if you got the fault LED try to cycle it on off for that quick recharging stage and I was trained that if you are using the nickel metal hydride when you are fully charged the green LED will start blinking that's the like a trickle charging when the battery is almost full and when you've got a solid green then is absolutely full for the nickel metal hydride you can turn the charger off and charge it on and like repeat the cycle to make sure that they are absolutely fully charged that's how I was trained for the lithium ion 
you do not need to do that that's because they are recharged like in a different thing they, they are measured in the tent and making sure that it's fully charged that way so it's a little bit a different chemistry and you have to wait until it cool down you plug it on and it's going to once again pump some power but for this you do not need what's interesting i was trying this on uh, the as you can see here we've got a different round of battery and it's working perfectly those are the lithium ion those one are from the same company also working perfectly it accept it send the charging enable so you've got the ability to recharge the lithium ion batteries you have to be warned that the older model that's got only uh, one bay and it's like a really old will not charge the lithium ion because they do require a voltage on the charge enable pin if you do not provide the battery will not accept any charge and yeah that's how that that's how you operate very simple here we've got the status led for a uh, low vehicle power that's when we are using the dc socket and when the when the charger is going to overheat then we are going to see a warning here so to make it properly and recharge our battery we are going to turn it off that's how i was trained and here you can put our two batteries so you just grab it and locate the connector you made them together let me grab the second battery that was also empty and you are going to reverse it stack it you power it on and we are going to observe it will go to the quick recharge cycle that is going to pump the voltage up and try to guess what kind of battery do we have a plug-in that's what it does because some batteries are going to the completely zero like the nickel metal hydride they've got a high discharge voltage the, the high discharge self discharge and after months or so they can be like completely dead you can hear the relay clicking and you are going to hear that while the charger is working because it's switching the this battery contain actually uh, two batteries they are two 12 volt battery and that's what it's switching so it's going to make sure uh, both set of this battery have a full charge and yeah this is how it looks like so this is a really nice unit it can be moved in this very nice case and that's how i do take care of our batteries so i hope you find it interesting thank you very much for watching see you next time and bye bye